The only thing better than playing the Nintendo Switch is playing it with a friend. There are countless multiplayer games on the Switch and in this video we're focusing on co-op games, the ones that you can play with your buddies on your couch. I'm James Amero here at Switch Watch and along with Jordan and Juan we've got you covered. Here are a bunch of solid co-op titles worth picking up. Originally released with support for two-player cop, this was boosted up to four in a patch, a welcome addition to this quirky, heavily randomised survival game. This one is all about risk versus reward. There are decisions to be made throughout this journey and each playthrough is unique, but always features hilarious moments making it a great hangout game. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. When you think of Mario Kart, it's not co-op that springs to mind first. However, you can play as teams in the various game modes and crucially have many options in how you play together, either huddled over a single Switch with Joy-Cons, locally on split screen, or local multiplayer with up to eight Switches. Death Square. This is one co-op game that involves working closely together. There are 80 levels in the campaign for you and a friend to enjoy plus an additional 40 player party levels to experience as well. Death Squared is difficult, but working together, you can achieve your goals and it's really fun when you do. When you don't know, be prepared to fall out with your mates. Enter the Gungeon is a top-down twin-stick shooter that's challenging and a blast to play. The game randomises each playthrough so you will face different enemies using different weapons in different locations each time you play so it never gets old. You can play with a friend in local carp and it's very playable with just a Joy-Con each, one of the best titles to play with your mates. Snipper Clips, made to show off the Switch at release, this is a fun little puzzle game that is perfect for players of all ages. You need to work together to shape yourselves into the right tools for the job, requiring some thinking and partnership to achieve success with the Joy-Con each. Diablo 3, the classic Dungeon Raider, is fantastic on the Nintendo Switch as a solo experience, but I've always found it to be a game best enjoyed with friends, and we have a few options here. With a single switch you can play with a Joy-Con, slightly odd way to play given the lack of buttons but it's surprisingly not too bad. Things do get better if you have a pro controller each, up to four of you can play locally this way and delve into the depths to get that loot. Another awesome option is local wireless play, up to four of you can play on your own switch without the need for an internet connection. Online all multiplayer options that you are familiar with from other consoles are also here as well as making this a strong contender for the best co-op game on the Nintendo Switch if a deeper more in-depth co-op experience is what you're looking for. We played Aces of the Luftwaffe at Christmas with family and it ended up being a surprising co-op hit. With up to four playing on screen at once using Joy-Cons or Pro Controllers, this is a blast. It's a shmup in which there are always four pilots, each with their own skills which can be coordinated for devastating effect and you earn medals which can be used to upgrade each character's plane and weapons giving you that sense of progression. Minecraft. Working together to build masterpieces makes Minecraft the perfect co-op experience. You can do this locally on split screen with up to four players or online. You can even play with friends on other platforms. There's also a local multiplayer using multiple switches. The Binding of Isaac, similar to Enter the Gungeon, in The Binding of Isaac you play in a top-down roguelike dungeon crawler and you can play the game with up to four locally. Each new character takes a heart from your first character to keep the difficulty high. Rocket League is a mad mashup of soccer and cars in which your aim is to score into the opposing team's goal. It's one of the most competitive games available on the Switch that requires a fair amount of skill to be any good at, but can be enjoyed by players of all skill levels. Online you have the ability to choose 2 vs 2, 3 v 3 or 4 v 4 matches by teaming up with buddies and you can also play locally using split screen. If you and your buddies all have a Switch, you can also play this one in local multiplayer with support for up to 8 players. Psycho Shooters 
While co-op gameplay may not be at the heart of what makes a sidekick or shooter great, many of them are actually well worth playing multiple times with a friend by your side. Why? Well, a good few of the psycho shooters such as Gumbers, Samurai Aces and so on give you completely unique endings depending on which character combinations are chosen between you and your partner. And due to the often quite funny nature of the cutscenes, it's well worth playing through them to see them all. In Hammer Watch, your goal is to escape the castle in this top-down twin-stick hack-and-slash adventure. It looks a bit pants, it's a bit rough, but it's super addictive. I remember playing this over Christmas last year with James and a few friends and we had an excellent time. Especially if you play with your friends and family, that's certainly the way to enjoy this one. You share lives, it's a tough game so good teamwork is essential. There are seven different classes from a healer to a ranger or tank, all in this classic RPG mode. We ended up playing this for a couple of days non-stop, determined to get further and the developer is working on introducing online multiplayer in the future, something to look forward to for sure. Platform games in co-op can vary wildly from game to game. It's not easy to balance and often you find it makes things frustrating or the second player is more or less just watching you play. Rayman Legends on the other hand is a great, wholesome game to play as two and can be played by four locally. What's nice is that you can dip in or out at any point and can choose from a range of characters to play as, so if a family member or friend rocks up, they can jump right in at any point. Wargroove is a turn-based strategy game. On its face, you wouldn't think that co-op would fit this, but it does, and really well. You can play as a team and have the choice of playing with up to three of your friends locally, with two on two, two versus the AI, or two v one plus AI. Doing this, you can either share a controller, or each player can have their own. There's also a play and pass available, complete with a fog of war to hide what's going on from your opponents. At launch, you could only play against friends online, but with the addition of AI enemies, you can now play online co-op as well. Cuphead is one of the coolest platformers out there with a unique 1930s style that works so well. This features a lovely drop in arcade style co-op where the second player plays as Cuphead's sidekick Mugman and you try to pay your debt back to the devil. You can play this on a single Joy-Con each, either docked or in tabletop mode, a great and challenging title to tackle with a mate. My only recommendation is make sure you find a friend who has an equal skill level to you so that there's not a load of frustration to contend with. Towerfall is a fantastic versus game. It's fast paced, frantic and fun. But that said, the Switch version includes the Ascension expansion that includes two co-op play modes, Quest and Dark World. Quest can be played by two players and your aim is to survive a number of waves. In Dark World, up to four can play and you take on levels and bosses. Both modes are enjoyable, but the real fun here is against each other. If that's what you're after, then co-op is just a nice bonus here. Arms is the blast to play when using a pair of Joy-Cons and, you know, punching in the air. With a friend, it gets even better. Well, we really enjoyed playing the Grand Prix mode right the way through. When playing with two people, there are two enemies per stage instead of just one to defeat. It's a blast played this way. You can also team up in versus mode as a group of four and fight two on two. As a side benefit, it's also a great workout. A Sniper Elite 3, there's something sickingly satisfying about blasting someone's head off from a distance or their testicles in bone crunching slow mo. There is sadly no local co op, but you can play with a friend online, either through the game's campaign in the game's two co op specific modes, Overwatch and Survival. In Overwatch, one of you is the sniper, whilst the other plays as the spotter and assistance taking on objectives. In survival, you team up against waves and waves of enemies that obviously become harder and harder over time. A really excellent game to play solo, and even better when you add a friend. Overcooked 2 caught me by surprise. I picked it up when it went on sale and I found myself playing it with my girlfriend non-stop. It's not a bad game when played solo, but it's clearly intended to be played together in local co-op. The goal is to serve up dishes by collaborating. One of you chops whilst the other prepares the food and serves. Simple at first, but it gets complex very quickly, leading to some genuinely tense and hilarious moments. You can play locally with up to four players as well as online. 
Deru, this is a two-player couch co-op game. The concept is a simple one. Black and white lines crisscross across the screen and each player is white or black. Uh, you can block the lines, stream of the opposite colour and touching your own colours beam will kill you. You need to work together in order to cross the screen and complete each level. The puzzles make you scratch your head and the visuals are artistic and lovely looking. If you're looking for a chilled brain teaser to play as a pair, this is a good choice. River City Girls is a game I reviewed recently. I thought it was an excellent beat-em-up in the style of Double Dragon Streets of Rage 2 and naturally a perfect fit for local couch co-op. In this one, you play as Kyoko and Misako, two high school girls that set out to rescue their boyfriends who have been kidnapped. This is short but fun title that's best enjoyed with a buddy. Incredible soundtrack here, so make sure you check this one out. And there you have it everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this video from me, Jordan and Juan. There's a bunch of co-op games in this list, but of course there are many, many more. We may need to do another one. If you've enjoyed this video and it's your first time here, then thank you very much for sticking with us. And please do consider subscribing. We get content like this delivered to you weekly. We'd also really like to hear your thoughts. What is your favourite co-op game on the Nintendo Switch? Let us know down below. Thanks very much everyone, we'll see you later.